in this lesson we'll be using the agile platform to create your first your first static web page actually it will be it will be the 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 typical hello world hello world application so i have i have started service studio here uh, already uh, service studio is the agile platform ide you can start it by by finding finding the shortcut under your uh, start menu in windows and when you open when you open service studio you, you to create a new application you have to click this this option here new application and let me name the application hello world we have it hit save the next step is now to create a new module to this application basically an application is like a solution in dotnet or a workspace in java and a module a module is is basically a web application project or a web project when when you're talking about java so let me create a new a new module and uh, and i will use a blank the blank eSpace module you can you can think of the eSpace the eSpace term in, in the Agile platform as a module. All right, think about it as a module. Uh, let, let, let's change, actually, let's change this name, eSpace, and I can do it here. I'm already changing the module, right? The, the minute you, you, you hit the new, e new blank eSpace module, you start, you start changing your, your application source, and this is it. So to, to change the, the, name, the name of the module, you come here to the properties area of the IDE and you can change the name actually this is where you'll be doing a lot of the work is here on the bottom right so let me change the name to hello world and the next step I want to do is to add a web page a web page to this to this application to this module to this application so let me right click let me add to, to add a page I need I will need to add a web flow and let me add a web flow and the web flow a web flow it, it's like a user interaction diagram it's also where your pages live um, but you can think of it also as a, as, 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 as a, your website's map and you will see that when you create a page when you create sorry when you create a flow you immediately get get these two elements the f this one here web screen one web screen is actually the term for an HTML page in the out system in the agile platform so this is a page I, I will actually change the name of this page to to um, to hello world we will be changing the content of the page in in a minute let's talk about this entry one here this element here this is this is the, the this is used to set which is the default page the user is being directed after enter after entering the modules the modules URL it's actually named an entry point and, and you will see what I mean because it's it, it has a property here the default and the default property is set to true so it means that whenever whenever a user comes to this to this application or to this particular module it will by default be directed to this web page this will make more sense in in the next lessons let me change the entry one name because it's kind of awkward to something more meaningful it's like start page all right now before changing the the content of the page I need to pick the anonymous the anonymous property here because we don't want to get into security right now we'll we will we will talk about security later I'm just saying I'm just setting up this page so the user doesn't have to go through any kind of login login um, mechanism all right by default the pages and created with the platform will not be anonymous they you will the user will have to go through a login page we don't want to do that right now so taking the anonymous here let me click hello world and when I click the hello world web screen or web page they mean the same thing uh, I enter I, 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 I now I now am in the edit edit page mode so this is the content of the page all this right here and you will add whatever whatever you want to the page in this particular example I want to type the hello world hello world text so let me just do that and with the keyboard type hello world hello world and there we have it and we're, we're pretty much done if, if, if now 
I can deploy or publish this to the web server and I'm using this server right here you can see here at the bottom the bottom here the name of the server I'm using I will publish this and then use the web browser to access to access this web application what is happening right now is that well the 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 source gets the source gets uploaded to the server see the server URL right here and then the server will generate compiled and optimized ASP.NET um, and C sharp and C sharp code because I'm using the the the, the and because the server I'm publishing to is is the, is Microsoft based and well if you have a database server and this particular server this particular server is connected to a database it's a SQL server database it will also update if it will also update the database model in this this in this case there's no database model to update of course and in the second and the second part of the of the of the of, of step three is that the application gets deployed and again in this case to IIS because that's the, the application server I'm using it it could be any other server uh, that 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 was set up at this point we're using IIS and now the hello world uh, is available in the in the application and take a look this is the URL of the application it's available at and this is the server name and the module name so let's try to access let's let's try to access this URL using a web browser So I have a browser right here and I'll type and I'll type that URL. So it's HTTP VM train that we have already there. And the name of the application is Hello World. Or the module actually is Hello World. Type Hello World. And we are now seeing this this page right here so this is the server name this is the module name since you since we actually were not specific about which page to open then we're directed then we're directed to to the hello world to the hello world page 